no matter what kind of hell you go through, hallelujah, there is a God that understands where you are, and there is a God that will resurrect you, will not leave you to see corruption. Yes, yes. Uh, God, thank you. Yes. Bible says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the sufferings of the cross. How could you see joy, Jesus, in all that hell that you're going through? What kind of joy could you possibly see? Amen. The joy that he could see was helping folk like us to know who God is. The Bible said that greater love has no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friend. Amen. When I look at Jesus and how he laid down his life for me, he didn't take no easy way out. Amen. He didn't go to no gas chamber. Amen. He didn't take no bullet to the head. Take it quick. Jesus took the most painful form of capital punishment that humanity had to offer to prove to me how much he loves me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Greater love has no man than this. So this gospel message has me arrested. It, it has me in love with Jesus. And yeah. it, it has me in adoration yeah. that a God that yes. big and that, that mighty could come down, amen, and suffer for my sake to that degree. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but it makes yeah. me want to have to open up my mouth and give him praise, yeah. glory, and honor because he's worth it. Hallelujah. I'm not serving a God like Allah who's distant from his people, but I'm serving a God that's in the midst. Hallelujah. And saying that I'm his brother and we're connected through humanity. Hey, Hey, Awesome. Mighty. Magnificent God. And I got a God, amen, that I want to praise and glorify. Amen. Amen. I've got a God that gives me hope in my spirit. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but there's some days where I ain't got no hope. There are days where I go through all kind of hell and high water. Amen. I want to throw in the towel and give up. But then when I look at Jesus, amen, that he is the author and the finisher of my faith. And they said, looking unto Jesus. In other words, you have to look at the fact that he went through hell and he is my example. And the same God that brought Jesus through is the same God that's on the inside of my heart, bringing me from glory to glory and faith to faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Looking at that Luke chapter number 22. Looking at that verse 42, it says, Father, if you're willing to remove this cup from me, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. Now it would seem to me that if Jesus prayed and God sent an angel to strengthen him. That verse 44 seems a little odd. And it says, And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. So I would think that if an angel come to strengthen me, that I would no longer be in agony. Amen. But you have to look at the fact that being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly earnestly. Right. And so sometimes measuring how God is with you is not in how it feels, but in the fact that no matter what kind of agony I have, I'm still praying. Hallelujah. So we can no longer measure God being with us on how like circumstances feel. But the fact that you keep coming to church, and the fact that you still have a praise in your mouth, and the fact that you feel like patting your feet and clapping your hands shows that God is with you. 
If God was not with you, the hell that you've been in your life, you would have quit a long time ago. But God put some power on the inside. Like Jeremiah said, I don't want to preach in your name no more, but it was like fire shut up in my bones. And I don't know about you, but there's some times I feel like giving up, but God keeps making me go forward and giving me the power and the strength so I no longer look at circumstances, amen, or the money in my pocket to determine if God is with me. I know that God is with me because I want to praise Him. I know that God is with me because I want to glorify Him and magnify Him and give Him praise and glory because I know what He's done for me. And I'm about to finish preaching. I want to know anybody in the house, do you feel like keeping on? Amen. Do you feel like worshiping God? Do you feel like you can make it because there's power on the inside? If you feel the power of God, put your hands together and give God a praise. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Give him some glory. You should have been dead by now, but there's something on the inside. Working on the outside, there's a change in your life. Hallelujah. You may not feel it the way you want to feel it, but I'm here because there's a God at work on the inside. You're worthy, Jesus. Faith is at work on the inside. I keep moving on because something greater than me is on the inside. Hallelujah. Jesus, your example. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How could I not trust God the Father if I see who you are and how you redeem my life from destruction? That you know where I've been and you can save me to the uttermost. You did it all for me, Jesus, that you can help me reach my potential and bring me to my destiny. Amen. And that's enough to give God praise and glory. And I'll just stand for our Jesus.